Hey guys, I'm Kathy Hester. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you one of my new favorite recipes from one of my favorite new appliances, the Ninja Creamy. And basically what it does is it makes things into creamy ice creams, which is awesome. So while you can make banana and ice cream in a blender, a food processor, or another device, that's great. I just love this and I'm going to show you why. So to make this nice cream, you're going to need some ripe bananas. The more ripe, the better. If you don't have any ripe ones, then you could use a sweetener of your choice. I would use a liquid one like date syrup, agave nectar, or maple syrup, but you could use um, a simple syrup. We'll need some kind of non-dairy milk, and I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla. Super easy. If you're using the Ninja Creamy like I am, you're going to want to use one of their special little pints. We have a fill line, so we don't want to go beyond that, but it's okay to go a little bit less than. I'm just going to kind of peel them and break them up in here. How sweet or not sweet would depend if you have to use anything. And one of the reasons I like to do this with the Ninja Creamy instead of just with a food processor is that it's a lot easier to clean up. And in fact, you can make a whole week's or even month's worth at one time because we freeze these containers for 24 hours. So as long as you're freezing those containers for 24 hours, then you just pull it out right when you're ready. And it probably spends once or twice, so anywhere from two to four minutes. And then you've got a perfectly ready to eat creamy thing. So basically what I've done is just put it in manageable chunks. I'm gonna take a small, and this is like an avocado masher, I think, or a small masher. You could do this some other way as well. You could do it with a fork. Since a blade is gonna go through it, it doesn't have to be perfectly pureed. Bananas are one of the best ones to start off with because it makes it really creamy, ice cream-like without any additional added fat. And if your bananas are ripe enough, no added sugar either, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna mash it about that much, okay? Then I'm gonna put in probably about half teaspoon to a teaspoon of vanilla. Depends on what you love is what you should add in there. And then I'm just gonna add in, and I can go ahead and taste this banana. Okay, so this banana is not overly sweet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put just a tad of maple syrup. And I always do this depending on if it's sweet or not, but like, that's probably a half a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put non-dairy milk. You could use creamer, non-dairy creamer as well. And, um, just so I don't splash it everywhere, I'm just gonna mix this around with a spoon a little bit. So you can kind of see that this is getting mixed up pretty well. You can always blend this too. I've made it with more bananas and less bananas. So you could fill this up to the max with bananas. But this is gonna give us a little bit of a lighter product. I just used unsweetened almond milk. You could use vanilla unsweetened almond milk. So really, this is all there's to it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid on. And I found the most magical thing, which is an Expo wet erase marker. And then I'm just gonna write banana. And usually I do plus maple syrup, plus almond milk. And we used three bananas. Now, I put all those details on because I'm working on a cookbook. <laughs> you could just put banana so you're not surprised. But I also like, these are reusable. They can go in the dishwasher. I found if you don't use something like coconut milk or something with oil in it, you don't even need to put them in the dishwasher. So I feel really good about them lasting a long time. So the most important thing is when you put it into your freezer that it's level. 
and you'll see why <laughs> when we spin this in just a second. Okay, so it's been more than 24 hours and we're gonna spin our banana and ice cream, but let's take a look at it and let's talk about a few things that you may have to do before you spin it. And this is case by case, really. So if we take the lid off and you can kind of see here that it's not level, right? We leveled everything off, but somehow it is not level. That's because sometimes when it freezes, it freezes from the outside in, and that pushes that middle out. So let me let you see it from the side too. Okay, you can kind of see it's not huge, but it's enough. Because remember, this blade is gonna be coming straight down. And if it hits something, it could turn. And what that'll do is it'll scrape up your cups. It's really something we wanna avoid. And just in case you haven't put this together, so when we're putting the blade in, we're gonna move this. So that's, it says paddle latch. And it doesn't look like anything happens on this side, but if you look on this side, See how these guys come in and out? So what happens is you pull it all the way over, and this is also good to do while you're cleaning. Then you drop this in here, and then you let it go. Now, I want you to notice it doesn't come all the way over to the other side. It just push, pushes just enough to get it in, and there will be some back and forth like here, but that's about it. It's not going to come out. It's in there really solid. It just has a little bit of play. So the super secret easy way to do this is just level it off using a spoon. If your mixture is super thick, you might need to let this thaw for five to ten minutes. So literally, yeah, it's fine here. I'm just scraping it back and forth and it's going to look like granita. And what granita is, is ice basically. And then I'm just going to smooth that extra around and make it pretty much level. It does not need to be like, I've used level and measured it. It just needs to be to the eye level-ish, right? We just don't want to have that up there. If this wouldn't scrape at all, I would just leave it out for a little bit. We could also run this under some hot water because sometimes there's an ice layer that goes all the way around because this blade... You can see here that there's just a tiny bit for the blade to spin, right? And so we don't want cutting in there, so there's going to be this tiny little layer. If you leave it out about five to ten minutes, that can avoid having that layer of ice. Or if, like today, I'm not going to eat all of it. So what I do is I scoop out of the middle, and then I scrape down the sides and level it off again. So that's another way you can do it, too so many ways to do everything. So remember, we've got these little things on the bottom. This is our outer container, and they match in. So if it's not matched, it's not going to go in. What that does is it holds it while everything's spinning. So I want to make sure to get this where that fits. So if you're trying to put this lid on and it's not fitting, check that first, right? So I'm going to turn this over. This says align center, and see how that's on there, and then we're going to go this way. To unlatch it, we're going to click this button and pull it. So that's how that works. So we're going to turn it on, and if you turn it on without anything in here, notice it says install, it's like beeping. It's just because this isn't here, and this is actually labeled bowl installation. So we're going to put this in with this facing kind of perpendicular. Then as you move it up, this little platform comes up, right? See? And it locks in. And once it locks in, all of these are going to light up. With the banana and ice cream, I would use either smoothie or sorbet because it's going to expect a thick, icier mixture. And so it's, the blade is going to spin fast, but go down slower, and we'll watch that over there. Okay, so I am going to do smoothie bowl. 
and we'll see it start to work. And now the blade's starting to come back up, and it's all the way back up. So there's a couple things to wonder. So you might be like, um, what happened to the rod that was in the ice cream? Well, it's up in here. It is self-cleaning, which means it scrapes all that stuff off. One thing that you might do is the little bit that's still out is I usually take a wet paper towel and wipe that off. And it should be fine. So we're gonna press this button. As soon as we do, you'll hear it unlock. And see it moved a little bit, and then that comes down. Let's say it didn't wanna come down. Sometimes this is so cold and it's on the metal, you might have to wait a minute for it to warm up a little bit. So all is not lost, okay? We're gonna click this button here so we can open this up. The top, there's just, I don't even know if you can see it, there is just the tiniest amount in here of the banana. Um, so when you take this blade, the creamyizer blade out, make sure that you're cleaning in this hole and you're holding this back and forth because that's super helpful. Now this is super creamy as is. Sometimes there will be little ice crystals or it'll look powdery. And then we'll use the respin button if it's not super powdery. But let's say it looks like crazy. It won't hold together at all. Then you could go ahead and go and do the smoothie setting again. It's just that easy. We can scoop it out and then level this off and put it back in the freezer. So that way we can eat exactly the amount we want. And then we can spin it again so it's perfectly creamy when we're ready. Okay, so we've got a plate. Now this is for muffins. And if you're using hard ice cream, don't ever use the scoop because it will break. However, with the creamy ice cream, it's gonna work perfect because it's creamy and soft and yummy. Okay. I'm gonna try and get a nice little scoop out. You can see it's really pretty. We'll do another one. I'm gonna see if I can do maybe three scoops on here. And then we can even cover it with some stuff too. 
like date paste. So this, remember, is just bananas, vanilla, and non-dairy milk. So if it's not sweet enough, let's say you thought the bananas were ripe enough and now you're starting to eat it and you're like, well, that wasn't quite what I was hoping for, then go ahead and just put some date syrup on top and use it as a topping because that's what I'm doing right now for the cookbook I'm doing. I'm going to be covering it in a little bit of um, date syrup and just a dusting of pecans just to kind of make it super extra decadent. And I'm just leveling this out, which you do not have to do. Let's see if I can see if this will work the way I want it to. And there you have it. Yummy banana ice cream.